Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in the office in our beautiful super secret, super secret test location in the south west of England. Now, a lot of you who are into picks will no doubt have come across a lot of stuff that is acrylic. So you're talking uh, v picks and Savage Customs and so on. And one of the biggest names in that sphere is Gravity. Now, Gravity is actually the reason that this channel even exists, in all honesty. Uh, it was my first experiences with Gravity that got me interested in boutique plectrums, though I can probably trace the true origins of such a thing all the way back to the likes of um, the Dunlop Maxi Grip and the Jazz 3XL. But it was Gravity that were my very, very first boutique company, and I've written about that quite a lot on the blog heavyrepping.com. Now luckily I have had uh, a bit of a confab with James at James's Home of Tone where you can find all sorts of things from companies like Prisma and Millimetric. He was after some picks and I happened to have those picks and so we did a pick swap and he very kindly sent me in exchange some gravities. Now I play, as you can imagine, quite a lot of picks and it was nice to revisit Gravity and have a wee look at them again with almost like a set of fresh eyes. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare uh, these two plectrums. Both these picks are the Gravity Classic Standard. Uh, now these are based on 351 shape, which if you don't know what that is, means a pick, like the classic Dunlop um, pick shape, what you imagine a pick to be. Uh, but these are three millimeters and they're made from acrylic. This one has the master, sorry, this, <laughs> this one has the master finish, which is this rough edge, and this one is polished. Now those are the two finishes they do, and that sort of thing does crop up with companies like VPix as well, although they call it ghost buffing. So I thought what I would do is compare these side by side. Now normally I would do this on the stick, but because this is quite a subtle test, I am going to use my acoustic guitar, which is this. And we're going to record them using the Zoom Q2N as ever. So without further ado, let us do this test. So, there is quite a big difference between these two things, and this is one of those situations where it's not just a feel thing at my end. Hmm. The polished version of the classic, which is very, very smooth round here, uh, and this is partly due to the fact that it's 3mm and it's got a very rounded bevel on it, has quite a soft attack. It's got almost a sort of pop to the front of it. Now. There is no right or wrong between these two, and indeed I shall tell you that over time, um, whereas this will sound pretty much the same, the master finish, as they call it, will start to temper a little bit, but it will never sound exactly the same as this, and the reason is simple. 
that not having the very, very fine polishing that you do have here, this will always be a little bit rougher. Now, when these are brand spanking new, there is a huge, huge difference between the two of these. I have played these a, a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but having owned quite a few of the master polished ones and fewer of these because I like the sound of this, spending more time with this was quite enlightening simply because this sounds more, uh, for want of a better term, jazz orientated. It's warmer, it's rounder, it's smoother. The attack is less aggressive. The rough nature of this doesn't make it any less fast or any less engaging, if anything. From an acoustic point of view, were I to make a decision for myself, I would have to say that the master finish is preferable. The only reason for that is having that extra sort of little grind at the start, if you like, that little scrape sounds more um, organic and analog for want of a better term, and it kind of pulls you in. Now, on electric, there is a noticeable difference. This, especially with drive on, um, really does have a bit more, you know, and it wants to get in there. This is chirpier because it's quite a round edge, as hopefully you can see there. But uh, I'll do a little close up if I can. And there's a, because it's so rounded and there's quite a lot of surface area, the bevels are not especially sharp on these. And it does mean you get a bit of the, the master polishes. I think it looks cooler, personally. Uh, I also have a sunrise with that finish on it, which I've put somewhere. Where is it? It's not in there. So just to give you an idea of how those sort of picks wear down, because I think that's an important thing, um, this here, this is a brand spanking new Gravity Sunrise standard. This is my favorite model. And this has, I have barely played this. This has barely been touched by human hand because I've had so many other picks to get through. I love these, I think they're amazing, especially if you play them that way around. This is my old heavy repping pick, uh, one of the first customs I ever got from Gravity. Um, and this is, a, this is one of my all time favorites still. But you can see, if you see the two side by side, this has lost its kind of frosting, but you can still tell that the edge is, is different. Now, this has very little in the way of string noise. This has more of a scrape, and that scrape is really, really awesome. Um, but that is how they wear. I'll do a side by side comparison in this little photograph. that's how they age. So in synopsis, there is no real winner or loser here. There's simply two different types of pick. If you like a little bit more roughness in your sound, go for the master finish. If you like to be super clean, nice and sharp and, and crisp, then go for the polished one. But uh, there's lots and lots of options for you in terms of shapes and sizes and thicknesses. Gravity go from as thin as a millimetre up to six millimetres, and that is not to mention their gold series, which I have yet to get my hands on. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and you can also go to heavyrepping.com and follow us on Instagram, at heavyrepping. In the meantime, uh, my name is John Tron Davidson, this is Heavy Repping, thank you very much for watching, and if you're not sure what to do, rep hard, rep heavy.